Sure. You bet. I love you. What's your name? Bennett. Bennett. Okay, so the last thing I'll tell you, because some of us got four minutes left. How do you go out and find adversity? Oh, baby. It's everywhere. You're kind of living in the cloud city here. Let me be frank. This is nice. This is lovely. Adversity is all over the place. What do I do? I live in places like this, too. I went across town in my town of Washington, D.C., the capital of the country, to the side of town where people like me don't go. Two-thirds of Washington, D.C. is African-American and poor, mostly poor. I live in this little fertile crescent where the lawyers and the lobbyists and all the other people who collapse the country live. People with graduate degrees who have made their moms proud. That's where I live, across town. I love people who, they're not that trusting in teaching to me. I gave up my knowingness. I said, you know, just teach me. I can learn. What's it look like or feel like in your shoes? After a while, they're like, okay. Yeah, he seems to want to be taught. And he taught me. That's adversity. You know, that kid Dan, who wants to be a real boy. The world's full of them. Dan taught me something. You go there, you find people who are as different from you as you can imagine. Find the person most different from you. Say, okay, I'll tell you what it feels like in these shoes. You tell me what it feels like in those shoes. And all of a sudden, you're in a conversation. Do something for someone that, that returns no benefit to you. See how it feels. And it feels kind of good. Do something and say, you know, I'm not even thinking whether I'm going to put this on my resume. Try that. I don't know if anyone's ever tried that here, but try it. <laughs> just for its essence, just for how it nourishes you. This is about finding the life of worth. Get out of your skin 